he is known for his work in the field of philosophy. He is recognized for his concept of the philosophy of as if. His name is Hans Wehinger. In the world of philosophy, there are those who seek to uncover the ultimate truth of reality, and then there are those who question whether such truth can ever truly be known. Hans Wehinger belonged to the latter group. Born in Germany in the 19th century, Wehinger became known for his groundbreaking work in what he called the philosophy of as if. Wehinger argued that human beings can never fully grasp the underlying reality of the world. Instead, he believed that people construct systems of thought and then behave as if these models match reality. He drew examples from the field of physical sciences, pointing out that phenomena like protons, electrons, and electromagnetic waves have never been directly observed. However, science assumes and pretends that they exist, using observations made on these assumptions to create new and better constructs. Wehinger's philosophy of, as if, had far-reaching implications. He acknowledged that the ideas he presented may be theoretically false or incorrect, but he emphasized that they could still hold practical value and importance. Wehinger distinguished between, half-fictions or semi-fictions, and, real fictions. The former are merely in contradiction with reality, while the latter are not only contradictory but also self-contradictory. He used examples like the concept of the atom and the notion of the ding and sitch to illustrate these real fictions. This philosophy extended beyond the realm of science. Wehinger pointed out that we can never be certain if the world will still exist tomorrow, yet we usually assume that it does. His ideas influenced psychologists like Alfred Adler and George Kelly, who embraced the concept of useful fictions in their work. Wehinger's philosophy of, as if, challenged traditional notions of objective reality, suggesting that God and reality could be regarded as paradigms, representing different facets of human awareness. Hans Wehinger's philosophy continues to inspire thinkers to question the nature of reality and the limits of human understanding. His ideas remind us that sometimes we must embrace fictions and hypothetical constructs to navigate a world that may forever remain beyond our complete comprehension. Hans Wehinger, a renowned philosopher, was met with both praise and criticism during his lifetime. His works, which delved into the realm of philosophy, garnered widespread recognition in Germany and abroad, particularly in America. By 1924, his book, Philosophy of As If, had already reached its sixth edition, even being translated into English. However, not everyone was impressed by Wehinger's ideas. One such critic was the American journalist Mencken, who dismissed Wehinger's work as an insignificant footnote to all existing systems. In addition, the logical positivists, a philosophical movement, had curtly and disparagingly referred to Wehinger's theories. Despite these criticisms, Wehinger's ideas continued to captivate the minds of psychologists, such as Kelly, and writers, like Kermode, who drew upon his central concepts. Unfortunately, after Wehinger's passing and the intellectual shift that followed the Second World War, his work experienced a decline in attention from philosophers. It was only later that his ideas found renewed interest, primarily among literary scholars. In recent years, there has been a modest resurgence of Wehinger-inflected critical literature within this field. One of the most notable reassessments of Wehinger's contributions came from the American philosopher Arthur Fine. He concluded that Wehinger was, in fact, the preeminent 20th century philosopher of modeling. As a result, Wehinger's influence has grown significantly, particularly in the burgeoning fictionalism movement within the philosophy of science, which draws inspiration from his ideas. Despite the ebb and flow of Wehinger's reception over the years, his philosophy remains relevant and thought-provoking. As we navigate the complexities of daily life, we can find solace in Wehinger's belief that our existence is not futile. In his own words, he famously stated, my life will recur in exactly identical fashion, implying that our actions and choices have meaning and purpose, even if they may seem insignificant in the grand scheme of things. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.